はい、えっ、ー、と、あ、英語で喋ります。So let's get started. Everyone, do you know Skip? Skip is a cross-platform tool that lets you build iOS and Android apps using Swift. It was released last August, and it is still new. I'm developing an outfit photo management app using Skip. I think not many developers are using Skip yet. So today, I will talk about the,、uh, these two points based on my experience. What's Skip really like in practice? Well, Skip becomes a mainstream cross platform tool. But before that, let's do a quick recap of Skip. Skip is a tool that lets you build iOS and Android apps using Swift and Xcode. It runs on each OS with a native UI. Skip supports two modes transpile mode and native mode. In transpile mode, Swift is transpiled to Kotlin. In native mode, Swift is compiled, compiled natively for Android. So, what's Skip really like in practice? I will cover three points that you might be interested in. First, will, will the UI be as expected on Android? Second, should you choose transpile mode or native mode? And third, can existing, existing app be ported? Let's talk about the、uh, first point. With Skip, Swift UI code is converted into Jetpack Compose. So, does the UI look as expected on Android? The answer is yes. Even in my app, I didn't need to make any Android specific adjustments, and the UI looks just as expected. For example, this is the code for Tags View. It looks nearly identical on both iOS and Android. More than just appearance, it's important to understand the specification differences between Swift UI and Jetpack Compose. For instance, in the navigation bar, the back button on iOS displays text, while on Android it doesn't. And the title's position is also different. You should be aware of dif differences like these. Next, should you choose Transpy mode or native mode? Both modes have advantages and disadvantages, but I recommend native mode. The main reason is that you don't have to worry about the f e a t u r e that APIs can be transpiled. For example, this API can be built in native mode. However, in transpile mode, this API cannot be transpiled. Therefore, You will need to either use a different API or separate the processing with compiler directives. But native mode also has disadvantages. For instance, Android app size can increase by about 60 megabytes. And build time may, build time may also increase. In my app, there was about a 50 second difference between transpy mode and native mode. There are various other advantages and disadvantages, so you should choose the mode that fits you, your app best. Next, can an existing app be ported? Based on my experience trying to port my app, the answer is not impossible, but it's very challenging. In fact, I gave up on porting my app. There are two reasons. First, some libraries you use are still not supported on Android. The second reason is that you have to write a lot of code for Android. Even in native mode, Swift UI code is transpiled. This API cannot be transpiled, it will result in an error. Therefore, you have to write code for Android. Not only that, many APIs still cannot be transpiled. So you have to write a lot of code for Android, and that is very hard work. 
there are the reasons why porting is difficult. Here is some good news, good news. Recently in Skip, Swift UI can now be compiled for Android. Also, it currently supports some APIs. Once full API coverage is achieved, porting will become much easier. Finally, I will wrap up by sharing my opinion on whether the Skip will become the mainstream in cross-platform development. I've talked about a lot today, but in conclusion, I think Skip is an amazing tool because it lets you leverage your Swift knowledge to build Android apps. With other cross-platform tools, you have to run a new language from scratch. I believe that Skip isn't complete yet, and it will continue to evolve. I think there is a strong possibility that Skip will become the mainstream in cross-platform development within a few years. That's all. Thank you for listening.